Hi everyone, it's Pete here, gonna have a look at this today. It's Guy RC T100 dual balance charger. Let's have a look at the box first. So it's 100 watt, five amps. Does LiPo to four cell, does NAMH to eight cell. There's these other batteries as well, which I'm not interested in because I haven't got any. Other than that, just some information on the back. That's about it. So first impressions, very light. Just got here my other one, which is also Sky RC, uh, B6AC. Now I had two of these and uh, they've gone for five years. Uh, this one still works, but the other one has recently broken, hence the need to buy this. I say this one does two batteries at a time, so that's pretty useful. This one does feel much more like a solid bit of kit. So this one, dire warnings about lipos, so take that seriously. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I did have a bit of a disaster with the lipo going up, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so I won't be making that mistake again. Let's get rid of that. Now, one thing to be aware of with this one, they don't actually give you a lead for your battery. With this one, they did actually give you a lead. I think they might give you more than one, but you sort of chose the one for your particular battery or got an adapter or whatever, so you did have that, because really you want the battery to be separate from the charger. It's all very well if you sort of plug the battery directly in, uh, to this one here if you happen to have an XT60 connection on your battery but uh, that means the battery is right here and I like to charge it inside a metal box uh, what with the previous lipo fire and everything so you do need an extension cable so to that end I've ordered a couple of these with this charger so it's an XT60 that end and a Deans that end I've got adapters to adapt Deans into EC5 so that's good for my other batteries it should be just about long enough to reach the box Right, so that's good for the Dean's type batteries. Like I was saying, I've got adapters for the EC5s. So the other thing with LiPo batteries is you need to be doing balance charges and your balance plug comes on a tiny lead like that. And this plug's quite fiddly, so you can see you can't get the battery far enough away. So what you need is a balance plug extender. I've actually got three plugged in together here. You can see which way the balance wire goes in. You've got these notches here and then you've got those bumps there on the plug. So it goes in that way with the red at the top. So you can see there you can put all the different sizes of plugs into that port there. Now I've got 2S and 3S extension plugs also, but rather than unplug this each time, what I'm going to do is use this 4S plug and I've got a smaller battery like a 2S and I plug it into this. So you can see from this that the 2S goes down here, the furthest away from the red wire. So your 2S plug will actually go in there. This will tell you pretty soon if you get it wrong. Power it up. So I've had a bit of a look through the instructions, seems to work pretty much the same as the old one did. Right, so these two cycle through the options, that comes back a level and that's enter. So you come onto LiPo battery, and you go through the different types of battery. You've got battery meter, battery resistance, system settings, battery memory. So you can set up the parameters of various different batteries and recall them later. Then you're back to LiPo batteries. So if you go into that, got storage, balance, charge, and back to storage. So generally you'd be doing a balance charge. To change these, you just press that. You can come up. I tend not to do more than four and a half amps. You could go up to five amps with this. It's got 5,000 or more milliamps. For a 4,000 battery, I'd do four amps. That's a general rule of thumb. So when you're ready, do a long press of that button and it will start charging. It won't do it now because I haven't got a battery attached and it will give me an error. So it's this connection break. So I'll actually charge the batteries in the garage in a second. So the only other button is this one, which chooses which batteries you're doing the parameters for. So that's the battery that size, that's the battery that size. One thing to say about this compared with this one is the display faces forward so it depends where you charge your batteries as to whether that's useful or not because I've got them on a bench so it's probably more useful to have this flat like this rather than like that but if I put that further back that might be all right to look at so uh, I can live with that I think. Now this one only goes up to 4S whereas this one went up to 6S but it's worth saying this was 50 quid and it does two batteries at a time whereas I think this was about 70 quid about five years ago and it does one battery at a time. Right I'm in my little charging area in the garage got my lipo safe boxes here now one thing i thought was better on the previous charger was you had a different plug for each size of battery so you went 2s up to 6s there and i just permanently had extension leads plugged into these just use whichever one i wanted for the particular battery i was charging it is awkward to get this 2s into this plug because of this plastic here so i might trim away some of this plastic just to make that easier 
the other extension lead in. So I'm going to charge a 4S and a 3S simultaneously. So first we've got the 4S on this side. So I've got the Dean's plug here. I need to convert it into an EC5. Plug that in there. Plug the balance extension into the battery. There. So before I set that off, I'm just going to check the battery meter. So if we go forward. So you can see it's 3.6 odd per cell. So that's around about storage charge or a bit below maybe. So to come back a level on the menus, it's the stop button. So you can go back to LiPo battery. At the moment it's set to four amps, two S. So I'm going to put it to four and a half amps and four S. And if you hold that down, confirm. Okay, so it's telling you how many amps it's using and tell you how many volts the battery's got. Tell you anything else? Oh yeah, so you can check the individual cells while it's going. Right, so while that's doing, we get the other one on the go. So this is 3S, like I say there's lugs on this and there's the gaps there, but the gaps don't match because this is the 4S plug. So you want it, the 3S to be on that side. Like that. We just need the adapter. So let's change sides. So LiPo battery, so it says again 2 amps, 4S this one is set to, so let's go 4.5 amps, 3S, so you hold the button down, battery check, confirm. So when we've got two batteries going it shows you the two batteries there, what percentage full they are, and then we're doing balance charges on both, so that's good. Let's just close up the fireproof boxes and leave them to go. So you've got the display here showing both batteries can go to the individual batteries while it's charged. If you press enter, you go into that screen for that battery and you can have a look at the individual cells there and you can change over to that battery and show the cells there. And if you leave the buttons for a few seconds, it goes back to the dual display. One hour later. So off camera this just played a little tune to alert me that one of the batteries is full. This one's on 99%. So this one should be done very soon. So if we go in and have a look at this battery, that went for an hour and a minute and put in 2,356 milliamp hours. Okay, so both batteries are full. Let's just have a look. So you get back to the battery meter. So just checking the batteries. It's all good. So in summary, this does seem good for under 50 British pounds unless you need more than 4S. Don't forget to order extension cables for whatever batteries you've got. And always charge safe with lipos. That's about it for this one. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time.